Didn't hurt. Touch wood, of course. Her <laughs> touch wood. Well, I see what you did there. He didn't sell the weapons this time. He gave them away. That's ridiculous. He's an arms dealer. He has to sell the weapons to leave. And now he's gone. Don't he's him. up to something. I'm telling you. No griefs. I am Tambosa, national leader of the APR. Right. Good. We've been looking for someone like you. There's a serious morphine shortage in this country. The stuff just can't be found. People get desperate when it's time for surgery. They'll use anything to dull the pain. Whiskey, aerosol, fumes. Saw a man drink paints in the woods. This shortage helps us, frankly. Less surgeries, less soldiers surviving. The UFLL has a small quantity of nitrous oxide. We'd like you to destroy it. The gas tanks are an old dental clinic west of Port Saleo. The tanks are stacked high as a chest on a flatbed truck. They're right out there for everyone to see. A stationary target, one that won't fight back. Think you can handle that? Mr. Greaves here has learned to accept the nature of our work. He must always look for the advantage. So. We'll pay in stone, same as always. Just so we're clear, go to the dental clinic and take out those nitrous tanks. Are we good? It's an ugly world and it's getting worse by the minute. Okay, so... We've got an admission from Captain British there that we've got to go pretty much take out their nitrous oxide. Just summing it up in case you got bored and didn't like listening to Mr. British there. Which is understandable, not everyone likes British people. But, you know, well, British people are cool in my opinion. But hey, everyone's entitled to their own opinion on uh, British people and uh, cars and lampposts and trees. And yes, I am just saying whatever I see and whatever comes to my... Oh, what? Okay, phone. I'll get back to this. Stop. Hey man, yeah. your meeting over? It's Andre. Do me a favor and meet me near the post office. Post office, eh? Okay, so... Which way? Okay, this way. Yeah, as I was saying, basically Mr. British gave us a mission to do, which involves making it so that people can get less surgeries to live. I'm a little against this morally, but since it's... Um, but since, like, I assume I've killed, like, thousands of soldiers in this game, uh, I really shouldn't be, because, you know, it's just a game, it's not real, they're... Okay, I'm gonna get a little technical. Polygons are what basically makes the graphics, and these people are just commonly referred to as polygons. Polygons, as I said, are what makes the graphics, and so they aren't real, they're, they're just made by a studio. I know, I know, I'm sorry. This is, this must be, for people who don't know what polygons are, this must be like finding out that Santa isn't real. And if you didn't know Santa wasn't real, then I am also sorry again for just ruining your childhood. Oh god. Not fi finding out Santa wasn't real was like finding out that Easter Bunny wasn't real. If you didn't know the Easter Bunny wasn't real as well, then oh, I'm gonna stop ruining your childhood now. Actually, no, the Easter Bunny is real. He, um, at one time, I saw him. He was like hopping past my window and he was laying chocolate, and uh, I thought that was pretty cool of him. I was like, wow, I can't believe he's actually real. I thought he wasn't, but you know what? Think about it like this. Who in their right mind would dress up as a bunny and lay chocolate all over the place? Hmm? Exactly, the Easter Bunny is real. It's much more likely that like, that a mythical creature that lays chocolate all around the world exists rather than, say, an adult who wanted their children to believe in it. So much more logical. So much more logical. Seriously. Anyone who, anyone who disagrees with me is an idiot and should be slapped across the face. Gently, but slapped nonetheless. I think I'm going the wrong way. Don't know why I got out of the car, but hey, I do that kind of stuff. Probably shouldn't have. I'm regretting it now. How do I get up there? How do I get up there? There's so much... I don't... There's like... I need to get rock climbing equipment. Does anyone here sell rock climbing equipment? I don't think so. They just like guns. Oh, we have guns. We got everything you need from guns to guns. Oh, I I don't need guns. I need climbing equipment. Climbing equipment. I need to get. Oh, hey, hold on. I think this is it. Never mind. I don't need climbing equipment. Climbing equipment can go to hell. I need guns now. <laughs> is that my car? No. Okay. Let's just thing on fire. Oh, it's all blurry. Nice. Oh, here we go. I think this is it anyway. Fingers crossed. <gasps> what on earth are you doing? Give me that. Over here. Yeah, I know. You're looking sharp, man. Mm -hmm. I know those boys want you to blow up the truck. Nah, man. Don't do that. Go over to the post office instead. Grab this package. It's got a distributor cap in it. Fits your truck. You getting the picture? 
Once the truck is running again, drive it over to my garage, where I work. You drive it in nice and slow. We leave, and then we ignite those tanks, make everything burn. I'm leaving my ID papers in there where they won't burn. So when my old employers find them, they'll assume I died in the fire and get off my ass. Now listen, man. You've got to be careful. You don't want to start trouble too soon. Be cool when you drive into the garage. You cause trouble that I'm leaving you behind, all right? Okay. The package is in post office. I, I think I can handle that. Let's see. Post office is that way, so let's go in this car, which just so happens to be ever so conveniently placed in the right outside where we need to, where we uh, take the, accepted the mission, and now we can head over there in a quick and timely manner. So that'd be cool. So yeah, I think this may may. Not saying it is, but it seems like it's a type of stealth mission, which will, well, not so much a stealth mission, like in the sense like we have to do like time defense while passing through like searchlights or anything like that but we have to you know just drive slowly and not cause attention like not shoot people essentially and that uh, there's people shooting me that's bad this is bad get in here where is oh shit where's my uh there we go hello oh my god why am i shooting this guy oh, there we go come on oh oh okay hold on no 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 no, 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 no. Oh, shit. No, no, no. Oh, no. Kill yourself. Ooh. Oh, oh, I died. Where's my friend? Oh, hello. Let's get you somewhere else. Oh, yeah, I'm buddy. Buddy. Good. And all that. See, I was so close to saving myself, though. I could have done this. I could have done it, man. I could have. I could have become the best, but nope. Had to. Had to be a pussy and die. <laughs> Ooh, look at me! I can't handle taking a thousand bajillion bullets. Uh, it's bullshit. Should be safe for the moment. How serious is it? <sighs> He's not even touching it. That's not the bullet wound. Did I lose all my guns? What? No. Oh yeah. Doing so right now. Okay, got it. Gotta not shoot so fast with this, or go pretty much fully automatic. You're still alive. Get back down. Okay. Although I think the best course of action is to get up close and try and control the recoil. That'd be a good idea. I, I think. I think. But I uh, I don't really know. Hey guy, I'm gonna shoot at your shins because then I'll get a headshot. Okay. See that that's not a bad idea. I think. I think that's pretty good. Okay, yep. Yeah, shoot at the shins, get a headshot. I like this. See, <laughs> it actually works. That's so stupid. Oh. Oh, okay. Hold on. Oh, he's dead? Wait, hold on. hi -ya! Oh, right in Oh, my God. He just stabbed him in the dick. Did you see that? Oh. Are you... Wait, are you my friend? <gasps> he just stabbed my friend in the dick. I'm an asshole. Wait, who? Okay. Friend, uh. I'm sorry. I thought you were a bad guy, I swear. Okay, so where's this ship? He'll be fine, I swear. He only got stabbed in the dick. I mean, how often does that happen to you when you just walk away fine? All the time? Exactly. Thanks for proving my point. There we go. I think this is what we needed. No, it's not. Oh, is that it? There it is. Nice. Okay. So now, where do we go? Oh. Got the package. It's time to find the truck, brother. Oh, okay. So I figured. Yeah, I was gonna say, how does he know what will fit on my truck? <laughs> but he, of course, now we have to go pick up the truck, which it will fit onto. Because I was gonna say, how does he know exactly what truck I'm driving? It's not like I keep him up to date on my vehicles. Because I mean, they pretty much blow up every five seconds when I'm using them. Well, not every five seconds, of course. That's an exaggeration. But you know, pretty, pretty close to that. Pretty close. Like maybe six or seven, give or take. And, uh, yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm go I should go. I'm going on the wrong way. If I continue down the path that I was going, I'll get blown up for a shot by a bunch of 
APR or UFLL. I, I really don't know. All I know is that they shoot me and that's bad and I don't like getting shot. Mm -hmm. And you probably don't as well. Have you ever been shot? If you have, you probably know.